Hi guys, this is a redirect to my reaction to episodes 639, 640 and 641 of One Piece. Some great episodes again. Um, quite frustrating. I was getting very angry at one point with how Violet betrayed Sanji. And I just, I felt so bad. I felt really bad for Sanji. He did not deserve being treated like that. I mean, I know like she switched up again, but like... Still, I don't forget for what she did. Um, but before I get onto that, let's talk about like what happened at the right at the beginning. Um, so Bartolomeo won the Block B fight, um, and the Colosseum was being renewed again because it was half destroyed by King Elizabeth. So they were preparing for the Block C fight, which is the fight that Luffy will take part in. Um, so they were preparing for that, and we saw like the well, not the beginning of it but like they were like all the um gladiators were like entering the arena but we didn't actually see the fight yet so that will be for the next few episodes meanwhile uh robin usopp law and caesar they they um they crossed the bridge where the flying fish were and they were having a lot of trouble with the flying fish um but they managed to like cross the bridge and they found some invisible fairies in um the green bit so their basically their mission is to hand over caesar to doflamingo in green bit um <clears throat> and green bit turns out to be a very wild forest very giant plants there um, it kind of reminded me of the island that usopp was stuck in for like two years um, because the island that Usa was in, it also was like a forest island that was dangerous. Um, and then Robin and Usopp, they encountered a lot of little people. These are the fairies, the invisible fairies who have been stealing the big humans stuff. Um, like the one, like the invisible fairy that um, stole Zora's sword and a lot of other people's stuff. Um, so you know when Zoro was chasing after his sword that was another invisible fairy the the one that Zoro was chasing after that fairy was actually really cute and they kind of look adorable but they're very gullible and quite they're very mischievous though um they pinned down Robin and they basically went through her bag and they even went under her clothes as well like what the fuck um so yeah it was, i just felt really bad for robin like she got pinned down they sold her to the ground so that she won't escape and they're like forcing her to stay basically and i was like what the fuck is your problem she's late for the handover you know because all the members have to be <clears throat> have to hand over caesar um prepare for like you know the handover to um to hand over Caesar to Doflamingo. Um, meanwhile, Sanji um, was told by Violet that he needs to kill someone for her, and he was r ready to do that. He was prepared to do that for her. And I was just like, you're doing these favors for this woman that you don't really know, and like you've just rushed into this relationship with her. I didn't trust her from the beginning. I knew something was off about her because of how rushed the relationship was and the fact that she's a murderer. Why the fuck would you trust a murderer out of all people? <clears throat> it's Sanji, he just trusts any woman that comes by him. It's just, it's so stupid and very naive, but I feel really bad for him at the same time because of how badly this woman just treated him. So basically, Sanji just took out like a whole gang of pirates, um, of, of men for her. And so basically saved her life. And then Violet, being the absolute snide conniving woman, betrays him in the most appalling way by handcuffing him and being like, are you willing to die for me too, Sanji? And I'm just like, bitch, you did not. You did not just say that. Man, you should have seen <laughs> how angry I was. Man, I absolutely hate snakes. Those are the kind of people that I absolutely hate, especially considering that this was like a development for a romance. So to get betrayed by someone that you really, really liked um i wouldn't call it love but it was infatuation at least like come on man 
You can't do that to Sanji. He was being so gentlemanly towards her. Like he was doing everything for her. He's such a pet when it comes to women. Um, that's another thing that's annoying. Um, because it's just going to do his downfall. I just feel like if you keep doing that to yourself... I mean, obviously, don't get rid of that gentlemanly trait that you have. I don't have a problem with that. It's just that I don't want him to be... like. You can't just be too trusting of people because unfortunately there are some really bad people out there, you know, um, especially in anime, like even the women can be toxic and this was a toxic woman. Like she beat him up as well. I got so mad. I got so mad about that. Um, but then there was like a 360 degree turn where Sanji was like, oh, but you weren't actually lying when you said that you wanted me to kill someone, you wanted someone killed. Um, so there was some sincerity there, but I was still like, but she just beat the shit out of you, she betrayed you, she lied to you, you just got conned in the worst way, and you got beaten up as well. Like, she beat you up, she made other people beat you up. Like, you got bloodied up by her. But then she was like, she stopped all the men from killing Sanji, and I was like, wait, what? I thought you were an assassin for Doflamingo. I, I just felt like it was a bit too quick, the change, the switch up, like, just from Talk No Jutsu. Like, did Sanji just learn Talk No Jutsu from Naruto or something? At least whenever Naruto did it, it still made sense, but this I just felt was a bit too quick to just use a bunch of words to change a character's um, allegiance and morality. Like, it turns out that she, she, I mean, I guess in Violet's defense, it could just be that she was just forced to do whatever Doflamingo ordered her to do, so she wasn't like totally loyal to him, maybe. Um, I mean, I mean, she, yeah, um, she doesn't like Doflamingo, um, and she wasn't very trusting of men, she saw men as liars, she had basically, her devil fruit power is the glare glare fruit, and I was getting, it was so weird how these eye whales were coming out of her eyes, and I was like, what kind of power is that, that's so weird, um, but her power is also to analyse people, it, people's history, people in depth, um, can see through people, um, so she can understand, like, what their motives are, so that's actually a really useful power to really understand people, um, and she, <laughs> she saw a lot from Sanji when she analysed Sanji, she saw some pervy stuff, um, <laughs> um, but she saw the good in Sanji, Sanji wanted to see the good in her, to be honest. I would not have it if someone betrayed me like that, but it changed her. Realistically, something like that would not go in their favour, actually. They'd still be a bad person, most likely. Um, it works in this anime for some reason, but um, I still wouldn't trust her, though, because it, it could still be like some sort of trap. But like, she did at least tell him that... Um, giving Caesar to Doflamingo is all actually a trap so Sanji warned Law but I feel like it's a bit too late now because it's, it's about time for the trade-off so that's bad um, it's a bit too late to tell to inform them about this being a whole trap um, yeah and then meanwhile, Zoro saw, actually saw the fairy that took his shoes away um, and is leading him to the flower field. Uh, meanwhile, Frankie is also going to the flower field and Luffy is entering his block C fight. So that's what's going on. Um, Regarding the relationship with Sanji and Violet, personally, it's not my thing. I don't, <laughs> I don't like it, but whatever. Um, it is what it is, what can I say? Um, yeah, I think she's a lot older as well, so I don't, I don't ship couples where the woman is a lot older than the man. It just weirds me out, um, which is why I don't ship Hancock and Luffy. It's just, 
it's weird um anyway um what you think of this episode let me know and stay tuned for more